The war has changed. That's the word from the CDC about the fight against COVID-19. And it stems from a leaked document that revealed just how contagious the Delta variant can be. CBS 2's Jessica Layton has the latest. President Biden said Friday, while Americans should expect more COVID restrictions coming soon, he was encouraged by the number of new people who got the shot this week. We had a good day yesterday. Almost a million people got vaccinated. About half a million of those people for the first time. Mayor de Blasio's office says there was an increase in first timers here too. On the same day, the city started giving out debit cards to get the shot at city run sites, while the bonus of 100 bucks has become a small point of contention. $100 to go get the shot, something you should have done anyway. That's like getting that get out of jail free card. It's proving to be the push some needed. I've been I'm on the fence, on the fence, and honestly, I could really use the help. I just thought it was about time. I wanted to be safe. That sentiment about safety, as we learned, the nation's top health officials believe the COVID Delta variant could be as contagious as chickenpox. What it means is that anyone who's not been vaccinated yet or not recently infected, there's a high likelihood they're going to get COVID over the next few weeks. The variant makes up about three quarters of all cases in New York and New Jersey. New data shows. 35,000 vaccinated people per week are coming down with what's known as breakthrough infections. But that's out of the more than 164 million who are vaccinated. So it's still a very small number, 0.02%. However, it is clear that they are capable of transmitting the infection to uninfected individuals. Experts like the research scientists at this lab in Nutley who are carefully studying COVID-19 say fully vaccinated people still only account for a fraction of hospitalizations. What the vaccine is doing and what the vaccine was supposed to do, much like a flu vaccine, it's preventing serious illness. It doesn't mean that you can't be an asymptomatic carrier, which really complicates the question about masking. That's Jessica Layton reporting.